This was liquid, yeah? Yeah, liquid. Does it taste like cherry? Mmm, mm, it's good. It's like blueberry. Mm. Maybe it's all the sugar. All the food turning to jam tastes good. I'm out of it, yes. Yeah. Mm. Scrambled eggs are good in this hotel. I'll try. Mm. You want a little bit? A little piece? Yeah, I have to say right on purpose now. To try your jams, it's fine. Sour cherry. Mm, I like this. Mm. Mm. That was scrub cherry. Try something I recognize now. Guava gel. Mm. This is almost like an adult video where I don't show my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, it's kind of too thick, too much pectin. Mm, good too. Mm. There's no reason to buy <coughs> regular chairs. Mm -hmm. Quite jealous of exotic food, don't you think? Strawberry jelly and all the other jellies that I've been making, raspberry. Mm -hmm. I just asked Ken for something and like the jellies that he picked yesterday. Here, this is Wala. Mm. Now, pick and cinnamon. Did you try it yesterday? I was very afraid of it, so I only used it on a small cake. But Ken said it's delicious, but it's maybe overpowered. Let's see. Usually, I don't like cinnamon. Cinnamon. Things are good, though. He has a cinnamon tree, you know. Really? Yeah. But I guess fix and cinnamon is a, is a flavor that goes well together. Let's try. Fig and cinnamon. Mmm, it's good, Luca. Mmm. Mm. I don't know, you tell me. Mm. Okay, two more and we're done. Now, the jabotica is good. I tried the jabotica fresh 
It's actually called Jaboti Kava. Jaboti Kava. They are like little round uh, grapes that grow on the trunk, on the stems of the tree. The tree grows so slow that they never prune the tree. Because the more the more trunks, the more branches it has, the more fruit it will grow. Because normally for the fruit tree, they prune it so you don't have to climb all the way up. And you just eat the fruit right away. Okay, this is Kitten Villa which I have no idea what it is. Looks like a blueberry. Mmm, sour. Good. Oh my god. I'm not gonna buy any more jellies anymore. This is selling for five dollars a jar, uh -huh. and it goes to the culinary institute. Mm. Okay. What to try is <coughs> Lulo. Fig, too strong, the cinnamon. I like the fig, but I hate cinnamon. Too much, yeah. I get I get sick when I go to the mall and I pass by Cinnabon. You know, the Cinnabon. <laughs> I get sick. It makes me non noxious. It kills all the flavors. You guys Italians are use cinnamon. <laughs> See, you use cinnamon, but you use enough so you cannot tell, right? That's, that's not gonna have to can. So, can you know for your fake cinnamon? Take away the cinnamon, I mean, use cinnamon, but use just enough so you cannot tell there's cinnamon. Oh, there are people who like cinnamon. Cinnamon? I don't know, on the jam. Let's see. This is Lulo, which is a famous <coughs> South American fruit now, and it's been used a lot in, by the chefs in Spain. They call it a tomatillo or naranquilla. Mm. And it's a citrus, of course. Um, it tastes like a citrus, but I don't think it's a citrus. Look at them. It's a relative to the tomato. Yeah. It's pretty mild. And give it some. But these fruits are not from here. All these fruits are from here. Yeah, but why would they? I mean, they're not originally from here. Oh, they're not Hawaiian. So, what is the drive in bringing in other tropical? They're exotic tropical fruits from all over the world. Mm -hmm. But Hawaii is growing them now. There are only five plants that are from Hawaii. Actually, the like the old Chinese or Japanese or locals in Hawaii, they were growing this fruit all the all the time because they brought the plants with them. Yeah. But it never got market, it never got known in the world. <coughs> okay, we're done with tasting. Now I'm gonna just relax, see you guys later. <laughs>